Shalom fam, it is your sister Biblical Babe Jelly Bee chatting too much again. Hi, I'm ready. <laughs> but I watched something, I was scrolling on Instagram. I haven't really been on Instagram for a little while. But I was scrolling and I came across this video that was saying basically that a woman, she is prepared for her husband. It's not that the husband is prepared and you know, it's actually that a woman has to change and be prepared to meet her husband, right? To be presented to him and you see this is a running theme throughout the bible to an extent really I'm trying to think of any other cases where it's the man that's prepared i can't think of any currently if you can put it in the, the comments right but take what's her name um esther she had to go through a year's preparation but not just she all of the other women who too were going to marry the king or wanted to marry the king there was preparation before they were presented this is like a the initial um, process before marriage that a woman is prepared, shaped into uh, what the man actually wants and desires, or mm, actually it's what is suitable, the suitable help that he actually needs, whether he can actually acknowledge or see in its fullness the help just yet, because usually... I don't think that's, you know, possible as when it is God who ordains the marriage, who puts two people together for his purpose, we don't know. We don't understand what he's truly doing. All we uh, should be able to do at that point of meeting your husband or your husband being, pre you being presented to your husband, if I'm speaking to a sister here, all your husband and you will know is the knowledge of self meaning you need to know what areas you are a suitable helper in and he has to acknowledge and know the areas within himself and have the humility to um, be real about the areas he needs help in you get what i'm saying but this is what i was thinking about um why we get this messed up version of love why we have high divorce rates especially where women are divorcing why we see women I just want to, you know, I'm happy to be a single mum. There's single mum clubs and whatever. I saw it on a video where women are actually, yeah, it's like I'm more upset if I don't have children rather than not being married and things like that. And it all comes back to the same thing of Adam and Eve. And I saw the name Eve this morning. And I was thinking, I don't know what you're speaking to me, Holy Spirit, but I will understand. That's just what I say. So anyway, this is what is the nail on the head right think about a woman like this this is how we actually are the bible says you've got to search the scripture yourself but it's there in the bible i'm telling you that biblical babe is telling you so check it yourself right but this is what it says that a man he needs respect and a woman needs love a man needs respect and a woman needs love now this is why this is so it's like it's wow there's revelation here who or what is love? The Bible tells us that God is love. He is love. The most high God is love. That's exactly what he is. And we as women, we need to feel that. We need love. But love is a thing. It's not a, a not just an emotion. It's God. He is love. Now think about Eve, okay? What did she do? What was the first sin that ever happened? She wanted to be like God. Are you with me? Are you following me? Are you understanding what I'm saying to you? Eve was the first human being to sin. And what did she want? She wanted to be like God. She thought God was hiding something from her. She wanted to be like him. There was something she felt like she needed that was more um, than what I guess Adam was giving to her. She wanted to be like God. You know why? Because God is love. When I say she wanted to be like God, it was because the serpent, the Satan, he manipulated her and was trying to make her believe that, oh, you know, you don't know everything, you know. God is hiding things from you. He just wants, he doesn't want you to be like him. And so she thought, there is something, there's comparison now here. There's something that, you know, he's holding back from me. God, you know, he, I thought he loved us, but maybe he doesn't. I've got to go out there and seek if, and see if the, the fruit is really 
riper, is sweeter on the other side, you know? How many women have done that? Mm? Gone to go check if the grass is greener on the other side, huh? When that seed of comparison, jealousy, envy, uh, what's that word beginning with C? Covetousness. When that seed is sown, a woman will go seeking. And what it is, is love, validation. Some people, um, some women confuse validation with love. They're seeking love, but they don't realise that, um, or they're seeking validation, thinking that it's love, not realising that you were just being deceived anyway. That like that somebody did when they tapped your little first trap, it was because they wanted to be able to save it, to come and laugh at it with their friends. It wasn't la love. It wasn't loving your photo. They liked it for a laugh. Do you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I just wanted to speak on that, that, you know, as women, if you actually understand us as creatures, as a species separate from a man, with separate needs from a man, you'll understand your wiring. You'll understand why you dress the way you do, why you feel like you need certain things, why you talk the way you do, the way, why you even walk the way you do. You will start to analyse yourself and, you know, a lot of women like to point the finger at men when that's just dumb. Like, that's just dumb. Um, do you want to be a man? Because if you don't want to be a man, why are you comparing yourself to one? Men and women are completely different species. We weren't even made at the same time. If you believe in the Bible, we weren't even made at the same time or from the same thing. We were made with two very different purposes. We're like a totally different species to a man so you can't even compare yourself to one you know again i'm gonna always come back to this this is why i love the bible because it will help you to understand yourself it's so deep okay you know women we are always looking for love and this is why sometimes women get in situations relationships you know speak to certain guys speak to multiple guys because they're looking for love they want to be worshipped most women who don't really know who they are, they want to be worshipped. They will only be with people that they feel like this person worships the ground that I walk on because I look like this. And if I don't look like this, I'm going to go get a BBL so I can look like this. And every thirsty guy can be in my comments and then I can feel like somebody loves me, somebody worships me. When, no, it's not reality. They don't even like you because that's not you. A surgeon did that you're a mutant now and i'm just gonna behave myself but i just felt like felt like speaking on that that women and men are two different species a woman is prepared for a man last thing i'm gonna say as well this is what i found in life and i saw this like because i analyzed things all the time that the lord will present you to a man who is not ready from your perspective you will feel like, oh, I'm ready, Lord, and I've changed this, and I've prepared that, and he's going to give me a pastor. I'm not saying that he won't, if that's what you're looking for, I don't know. But he's going to present me with this man who's going to do this and everything right, and it's just going to be so perfect. And it doesn't really work like that. You're a suitable helper. So if you're a suitable helper, that man needs help. You're prepared so you can help him make the right decisions doesn't mean you take over and you do this and you wear the trousers no it's actually from your good behavior as the bible says it's like uh what's her name keep saying what's her name when i just said her name esther esther is like the the opposite of eve they are the two sides of a woman you know that you can either be working through eve or working through esther you can either support your husband to make the right decisions, even if previously maybe he made the wrong ones, by being like Esther with humility, going to the Lord and partnering with him, praying and fasting, doing things in the secret place, not trying to be controlling and manipulative and listening to deceptive spirits, really wanting to be like God. This is deeper than I thought, Holy Spirit. But yeah, I hope you get that. We are not like men. And if you ever find yourself comparing yourself to a man, you might as well, what? I don't know, take some of those pills, grow a beard, deepen your voice like this and be like the man that you're really trying to be like, you know? Mm. All right, shalom.